I found gold at the lake here in northern Michigan, northern lower Michigan. I didn't expect to find anything, honestly. I was just playing around. I'm uh, um, trying out, or learning better how to use my Garrett gold panning set. But this, this Garrett gold trap and this gold panning set is so easy to use. This is not a commercial. This is not an ad and not related to them. Is it so easy to use? If there's gold, you can't miss it. You can't miss it. So anyway, I'll show you what I'm doing. And then I'll show you the gold I found. So I literally came here next to my boat. I'm at the lake. I'm right next to the boat. And I just scooped off the topsoil because that's just black, stinky, really stinky gunk. Um, the topsoil is two inches, three inches thick. And then I panned um, the next two shovels I got. I panned out uh, two pans and got some nice garnet sand, but I'm not here for that right now. I'm just experimenting. I did not expect to find gold here, but on the third pan down, I found gold. Now, just for info, there's gold in almost every lake, stream, and sand pile in northern lower Michigan because of the glaciers that came through and deposited all kinds of stuff. So you'll find these these rounded nicely polished rocks all over the place and that's glacier deposit. Obviously this lake is not that not got that much action here to polish these rocks and these are down deeper. This is glacier deposit. So what I did is I went down to the next layer down below there's a there's a thick rock layer when I dug into that thick rock layer I figured this is where I might find something but I really didn't expect to find anything even then sure enough I found a speck of gold so I'll show you that right now it's right there see that speck of gold nothing spectacular we're not gonna get rich off this let me see yeah we won't get rich off this it's tiny but it's there I found a speck of gold I'm going to see if I can get the magnifier on that so you can see it closer. It's beautiful up close. I'm trying to get you in there close. It's really hard because I'm my hands are moving. I'm trying to focus that camera. I don't know how well that shows up, but if I can get a good photo of that, I will later. I'm going to need a tripod for my magnifier. Well, that's gold. That is beautiful. You can see through this jeweler's magnifier you can see all the fine detail of it anyway I'm gonna get out there and see if I can get some more we'll try to get a photo of this later for you well, it's not very big but it's there okay I'm gonna run a pan through on video now there's no guarantee I'm gonna find anything at all in here no guarantee at all um, but I'm gonna show you the process and if I do find any in the next pan or so here. See, I'm down a little bit lower in here and the water rises, that's a problem. So it's, it's awkward to get anything out. There's a rock in my way. I'm down in the rocky layer. And that's where your gold's gonna settle if there is any. Problem is it's very awkward because gold is heavier than anything else in here and it's gonna run off the shovel. And if there's any in here, this is where it'll be, in the rocky layer. I try my hardest to get a pan full. So, I'll fill this up a little bit and then we'll be back uh, at the lake. All right, I just got over here with my pan. Now I'm going to put in the water. It's a great thing about the lake being right here. And all I'm gonna do is just sift through that rock under my hand. If you can see past my hand. Everything heavy is going in my hand. Now meanwhile, I can go through here and find anything of value for rock tumbling at home. There's a pretty one. That's a 
could be a miniature pudding stone. So anything that has any value for later, I'll pull out. Anything for rock polishing goes through the pan quickly. I highly doubt to ever find a nugget. There's uh, fossils in here. It'd be nice to see it. Look at that. Wow, look at that. That could be a tiny piece of pudding stone. Very tiny. That's actually sought after around here. Here's another one. Another piece with some red in it. I'll take that out at home later. It's curious. So, there's some some things you can find. I don't just discard the gravel. I go through it. There's a pretty one. It's tiny, but so. Eventually, I'll be going through everything again later and resorting. There's a beautiful piece of clear quartz. Just really nice clear quartz. So, I'm... This is part of what I'm looking for here. And when I'm done, throw it away. All recycling. Now, there's a lot of coarse stuff in the pan. I hope you can see past my head when I do this. But there's a lot. That's a full pan. Now, I'm just going to shake it up and agitate it really well for a while. Now, I've already done a panning video, so I'm not going to waste your time. I'm going to get this work down and we'll come back. I found at least one speck of gold in that pan. Now, I didn't do it live because it just takes time. I'm not really quick, honestly. There's one in here. There's absolutely one there. Well, it's right there. I put the eyedropper right there. You can see it in comparison to the eyedropper. It's right there at the tip of the eyedropper. It's really hard to focus. It's really tiny. But it's there. There's a gold flake. Hey guys, uh, check out the link below in the video description in the comments uh, to find a link to buy the, the Garrett Gold Trap and Gold Panning set. It's no joke. It's so easy. If there's gold to be found with this, you'll find it. It's so incredibly easy to use. And it's really affordable. I always wanted to do this, but I always thought it was too expensive, so I never got started. But with this set, it's incredible. And give me a thumbs up, guys. Like this video and tell everybody about it. Found another flake, guys. I can't see my camera, so I don't know if it's showing up or not. I found another flake. I'm pointing into it, it with the eyedropper. I can't see my camera. I think it's there. I think you can see it. A little gold speck in front of that uh, eyedropper. Well, there's a speck of gold in every pan in this area right here. Thanks to the glaciers. So there's gold in northern Michigan, northern lower Michigan. There's gold. But pretty much every single pan below the um, the soil line has one flake. It's not worth panning, really. It takes me some time. But it sure is fun. It makes for good video. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do.